Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to play Royal Giant in 2023. Hopping in the first match, we have a pretty good starting hand. The best starting play for RG is just to go with your log first play. He will Giant in the back, I'll punish him right now with my RG in the opposite lane. He could have like a giant double prince deck, maybe giant sparky or giant graveyard. He has mini P.E.K.K.A, so probably gonna be a giant sparky deck. Won't be an easy matchup, but it's definitely better when you have the lightning in there. I kind of have to sacrifice my ghost into his mini P.E.K.K.A, but it should fully counter it. Okay, he will minion horde. I'll go for the hunter and then my e-spirit. Try to like pull them to the side and I'll go for my fisherman for the king tower activation. Uh, could be in a bit of trouble right now. Oh, that was a beautiful hunter. That could have been so much worse. Beautiful King Tower activation as well. You'd have to be a bit careful of the King Tower activation when the deck has like a tornado. Like a giant tornado deck or a giant deck that has like a zap in it. Some giant sparky decks do have the tornado in them. We do force out a Skarmy there onto the Fisherman. I'll play the Ghost onto it. He probably has to play his sparky into it or maybe a mini P.E.K.K.A. I don't know. Something like that. He will sparky. I'll just go with my Lightning onto it. Lightning is so good against the Sparky. That's going to be a ton of damage for us. Almost his entire tower is already gone. It's going to be so hard to stop his Minion Horde though. We only have Hunter for it. I'll go with the Log here to almost kill his Sparky. I'm not sure if E-Spirit will actually kill it. I kind of think not, but we'll see here. Yeah, it just barely does not It has like 1 HP. I'll go for the Skellies. Just pull this Mini P.E.K.K.A. a bit more towards the center. I'll pull it once again towards the middle with my E-Spirit. Beautiful E-Spirit. That was a picture-perfect defense. He has to respond to the Hunter as well, or it should get a couple of shots onto his tower. The Hunter does so much damage to the tower now. I'll play my Bridge Ghost here, probably force out a Skarmy. I have no log in cycle, so I can't really RG until he plays his Skarmy. That's pretty good for us. I'll just go with the Fisherman here, maybe set up an RG push in a second. Yeah, I'll just go with the RG. He can't really mini P.E.K.K.A. onto it or the Fisherman should just pull it. Should be tower down, I think. We just have to defend this Sparky push now. Easier said than done. He will still mini P.E.K.K.A. on the left side. I'll just go with my Hunter onto it. He will Giant in front as well. I'll try to pull everything towards the center with my Fisherman. We could be in a bit of trouble right now with this Minion Horde. Super good E-Spirit though. Wait, no, Sparky's on the tower. Okay. I think we're actually fine. Yeah, that should be a good game. I'll see you guys in the next match. It's time. It's logging time. <laughs> okay, I'll go for the ghost in the back. He will arrows. Might be a beat down deck like Lava Hound or Golem. This will be fun. He will tombstone. I'll just go with the RG in the back. Probably going to be a Lava Hound deck, I think, or Graveyard. He will balloon. I'll just go for the hunter onto it. Should fully counter it. Yeah, gonna be kind of hard here. Really hard to kill the Inferno Dragon. I'll go for the E-Spirit just to reset it. Maybe get like one RG shot or something. One or two. Okay, just one shot. I'll go for the Skellies onto his Inferno Dragon. It's gonna be so hard to kill it though in the future. Yeah, it will be Lava Hound. I'll go for the Ghost here on the right side. Apply some pressure. He probably has to respond to it with something. We'll see. He has Barbs too. Man, this would be such a hard matchup. Without, If we had Fireball, this would be such a good matchup. But without Fireball, so hard. I'll go with the High E-Spirit here for his Barbs. We're playing pretty well so far. I'll just play the Lightning here onto his Skelly Drags. Can't really counter it any other way. Beautiful defense onto his Lava Push. I'll play my Royal Ghost as well, while the Hunter is still alive. Maybe get some value out of it. That should get some good damage, I think. He has to play the Arrows too. We're definitely up a few Elixir right now. I'll play the Bridge Fisherman right here. He has like nothing in cycle for it. It does do some pretty good damage when left alone. I think like 800 or so. Pretty good start. It's fine to go with your Fisherman at the Bridge against all the Hound decks sometimes. If you have nothing better to pressure. Alright, I'll go for the early hunter here. It's important you play an early hunter against Lava Hound. You have to cycle two of them to fully defend their pushes most of the time. I'll play the ghost in the back here on the right side. I don't want to play it at that bridge, otherwise he would just go with his barbs onto it right away. 
I'll go for the Fisherman just to tank for the Inferno Dragon for a bit. And I'll play my second Hunter down low, making sure to give some space between them so we can't fireball both. Beautiful defense. I'll play the Ghost here on the right side. I feel like we could make a pretty good RG push right now. I'm going to go with the RG and then a Prediction Hunter for his barbs. Oh, we do catch them, and I'll go for the Log as well. Should be a ton of damage. Beautiful E-Spirit as well. <laughs> We're playing so well, honestly. Wow, we even got one extra RG shot. I'll just go for the Lightning, and that should be good game. We're in the next match. I'll go for the Ghost in the back. Pretty sure he's running a Lumberloon Freeze deck. You guys will love this. I won't. <laughs> I'm going to go with my Hunter here for his Baby Dragon. A bit of a risky play, but can't really cycle anything else. Yeah, seeing the Bowler, it definitely will be Lumberloon Freeze. I'm going to punish right now with my RG here on the left side. Oh, he has Inferno Dragon. I'll go for the E-Spirit to reset it. I thought he had the Phoenix variant at first, but it's fine. We do force out the extra Tornado with the E-Spirit. I want to get a King Tower activation off his Bowler. I'll show you guys the perfect fisherman placement. He will Barbara, but I think it should still hopefully work out. I don't trust the Inferno Dragon. I'm going to go with my Hunter onto it in case he freezes or something crazy. Yeah, we got the King Tower activation. Beautiful. I'm going to go with my RG. He has no Inferno Dragon for it. I think his balloon should hopefully die to a well-timed E-Spirit since we have the King Tower up. Oh, that was a really good fisherman on the right side. I'm going to go with my Skellies to distract the Lumberjack and log it away. That's going to be a lot of damage. We played so well there. He has no Inferno Dragon in cycle right now. So I'll just go for the RG again. Wait, no, he does have Inferno Dragon. We do have the Lightning. I got kind of confused. I'm going to go with my Lightning onto it. We can be a bit aggressive right now since it's already almost the end of the match. We do take out the tower. He's definitely going to go with his Lumberloon Freeze push here. So I'll just go with the Prediction Fisherman. Perfect timing. I'll go for the Hunter onto his Balloon. He may try to freeze though, so we have to be a bit careful. I think King Tower should help out pretty nicely though. I'll go for the Lightning onto his Baby Dragon and stuff. And that will be good game. In the next match, we're up against... Well, that's not really a proper name, so I'll just say this guy. He has Princess, so probably will be a Log Bait deck. I'll go for the Ghost in the back. He will barrel straight into it. I'll just go for the E-Spirit and then for the Skeletons for a perfect defense. Riley said he never lost this matchup yet with Log Bait. Could be pretty hard, but I'll try to show you guys how to win. I'll go for the RG in the back right now. He has like nothing to punish us. If he tries to go for like a high princess, we do have the fisherman ready to pull it. The fisherman is so good against the mighty miner especially. It's really important that you split up their defenses in this matchup. I'll go for the fisherman here. Pretty bad ability by him to be honest. Kind of useless. And I'll go for the lightning here onto his cannon. I'll go for the log onto his goblins instead. Oh, beautiful prediction. I knew for a fact that he had to play that. He did a lot of damage too, but I think we should do more damage than him. I'll go for my ghost as well. He has no goblins or mighty miner in cycle. Bit of an unlucky timing. Oh, RG pushed the ghost a bit, so we had to waste the ice spirit as well. Pretty good start. I'll picture this guy as Riley right now, so I have a higher chance of winning. I'll just go for the skeletons onto his barrel. I could fully counter it with my hunter, but I just want to... Save my elixir for now. I definitely want to punish him right now since he has no cannon in cycle. I'll just go for the bridge RG and then a prediction fisherman. I'll just log away all of this stuff. Should be some good damage, I think. I don't really mind wasting my log on offense in this matchup since we do have quite a few other counters to the goblin barrel, like an e-spirit to only take one or two goblin stabs. I'll go for the Ghost at the bridge here. He probably has to go with his cannon onto it. He has no goblins or mighty miner in cycle. Pretty good for us though. He can't really stop an RG without cannon. I'll go for the E-Spirit. And I'll go for the Hunter here onto his barrel. Show you guys how to fully counter it. Perfect timing. Also that was a really good set of skeletons to block his bridge princess. He's going to rocket our Hunter. Well I, I'll tell you what guys. I guess some log bait players can hit their rockets after all. And yeah, that should be a good game, so I'll see you guys in the next match. It's time. It's ghosting time. He will split wall breakers. I'll go for the skeletons on the left side. Probably gonna be a minor plus wall breakers deck. 
He has Prince too, so it should be Mega Knight plus Minor Wall Breakers. This will be fun, just like Min Ladder again. I'll play the Low Fisherman. Oh, the Prince does charge onto the Hunter. I'll go for the RG in front of all of this, and I'll go for the E Spirit to pull his Bandit. Beautiful. Okay, wait, this could be a bit bad. He's going to Mega Knight on all of this, I'm sure. Yeah. Good damage for us, though. Okay, at least the bats will walk in front of the Mega Knight, or fly in front of the Mega Knight. I'll go for the Ghost here. He has Queen as well. I'll go for the Skeletons and just try to go for the Lightning. He will Wall Wallers. I'll go for the Log. And I think we're fine. Or maybe not. I'll just go for the E Spirit here. We, we will take some damage, but I think we're okay, hopefully. Alright, we're in the damage lead. Pretty good start. It's not that hard for us to get the connections in this matchup with our RG. I'll just go for the Hunter plus Skeletons onto his Prince. It's really important that you just play a bit passive in this matchup early on. Wait for your opponent to waste their counters before you go in. Unless you just have like a ton of troops on the field like I did there at the start. He will Queen. I'll just go for the ghost onto it. I don't want to waste the whole lightning onto it or something. I'll play the log as well just to push it back a bit into the ghost. He has no prince in cycle right now, so... I can just go a bit aggressive with my RG at the bridge. I have the fisherman ready right now. Okay, I'll just go with the fisherman here on the left side for his wall breakers. How did that get four shots on his tower? I'm going to go with my Skeletons here, then my Ghost as well. I'll pull his Prince with the E Spirit. You guys can see how good our defense is. We're playing all of our cards super well. Perfect Log as well. And I'll just go for the RG at the bridge. Should be a good game, I think. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!